Alright, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. I want to start out the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 14. It says, Yahweh have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his own vomit. Now, when we go into this word perverse, late 14th century, wicked, from the old French, perverse, unnatural, degenerate, perverse, contrary. Well, what is this way of life contrary to? This way of life, this wicked, rebellious way of life, this perverse way of life, which people are living, is contrary. And, that, and first and foremost, this goes this goes to uh, to the Israelites. All right, the way how we are supposed to conduct ourselves are supposed to be in a righteous way. But the scriptures tell you that we have became what? As we were once this noble vine, we became this degenerate plant unto the Lord. As the Lord has made us to be holy, right? To be separate. Well, it seems as our people have, as they have mingled themselves amongst the heathen, they have carried, now you see them carrying, carrying on and conducting themselves as the way of the heathen. Right? Matter of fact, let's get those two scriptures. It says, um, I believe it's Proverbs. Let's say 26. It's 26. No, not that one. Um, but the scriptures say, you know, um, the righteous is more is the Proverbs 11. Let me see. We'll try this one before I try to quote it. Proverbs chapter 11, verse, it's not it. But I can uh, paraphrase it. It says, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces him. So, Jake, you were created to be the righteous. You were created to uplift the way, the righteous way, the standard of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You got to remember the law, statutes, and commandments. This was our wisdom in the sight of the nations. But what did Jake do? Jake have mingled themselves into the heathen or mingled themselves with the heathen, you know, and turned themselves into a degenerate plant by the way of idolatry, right? Idol worship, the worshiping of these different deities. Did not the Lord say what? I'm, I am a jealous power. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Did not he directly tell us that? And what did we do? Well, we went and mingled and joined ourselves into idols. You know, strike one. And the various other things that we have done. Right? That was what? Contrary in a, in, into the way of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Now let's get this. And I got a few clips I want to play. But once I, you know, read these scriptures and play these clips, it's all going to come together. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 20. It says, For of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands. And thou saidest, I will not transgress. When upon every high hill and under every green tree, thou wanderest, playing the harlot. Yet I planted thee a noble vine, a holy rice seed. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? You see? So, this is how Jake have become. Jake have become unknown. Jake have become strange into Yahweh, our power. Right? You look at the state of our people today. I mean, Jake have completely gone left. 
completely going left. You know? Sometimes I get on the sometimes I get on the, you know the internet and, and I have to log right back off. Because you see the madness that Jake be doing. You know? But I, you know, a lot of times I have them have to bear it. Because I realize, you know, within Within this truth, you, you know, we're going to see these things. We got to deal with these things. It's going to vex us. But these are the things which we apply as scriptures as turn the other cheek. Right? Can't execute judgment. We're not in power. So this is a, you know, a turn up. These are turn the other cheek situations or turn the other cheek moments. But then I, oft, I, then I uh, also use it as fuel to do these lessons, you know, as it vexes me. I said, you know what? Since since Jake wanted to display this folly, this mad behavior for the world to see, well, why not show it to why why not, you know, do a lesson on it, rebuking them for the world to see. Right? So uh let's get these uh, few clips. Like we discover trans with, um, days take up half the year. Let's start with this. They have Transgender Day of Visibility, Transgender Day of Remembrance, Transgender Awareness Week, Trans Awareness Month, Transparent Day, International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia, Pride Month, LGBTQ History Month, LGBTQ Health Awareness Week, International Day of Pink, Day of Silence for Transbullying. Lesbian Visibility Week, Agender Pride Day, Harvey Milk Day, Pansexual and Panromantic Awareness Day, Stonewall Day, International LGBTQ Plus Day, International Non-Binary People Day, International Drag Day, Bisexual Awareness Week, Celebrate Bisexuality Day, International Lesbian Day, National Coming Out Day, Gender Fluid Visibility Week, International Pronoun Day, Spirit Day, Intersex Awareness Day, Intersex Day of Remembrance. I could go on. They dominate the calendar. We can't have one day for Easter? <laughs> so, you see? You see what's going on in this place? The calendar, <laughs> like you said, the calendar is dominated by complete perverseness, a perverse spirit. Now, they did mention Easter, which we know, according to the Bible, there is no Easter. You know, that Easter worship that goes into another uh, false deity, another idol that is being worshipped, which goes back to uh, Ishtar. Right, Ishtar, Ishtar, tomato, tomato. Right, that's what that goes back into, you know. But really, we just had a high holy day, which was the Pasak, right? Which is also known as the Passover. Right, you get that story, um, which took place in ancient Egypt, you know. But as we were rehearsing the righteous acts, you know. As that was a memorial unto us, the children of Israel, we do the same things today. You know, we try to keep the ways of Yahweh Shai to the best of our ability. So we do these things in the hopes of, you know, when you look at the spiritual part of it, in the hopes of, you know, on coming destruction come here to, you know, spiritual Sodom and Egypt, that we will be passed over, right? That the blood of Yahweh Shai. It's covering us, you know, as our bodies can be, um, you know, resemble or represented, uh, you know, symbolized as, you know, the doorpost, you know. So we just had a high holy day of the Passover, which, of course, two thirds of our people didn't participate in, but they sure participated in, uh, you know, Easter. They sure participated in either one of those uh, categories. Uh, I forget this, uh, this news anchor mentioned. They participated in that, right? But see, this shows you why. So I This shows you why. 
two thirds of our people going to be destroyed. This shows you why the judgment and the wrath of Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to bring his wrath upon the earth, upon the wicked. Let's continue. Um, let's get a. Let's get this. Now I played this. I played this because this is what our people get into, right? Doing stupid TikTok videos, doing stupid, stupid challenges all day. This, this is what our people get into. Complete folly. And this is what you see all across the internet, you know? And now this ain't really nothing too, uh, you know, too, what I want the word I want to use. Ain't nothing too bad about this video. Like they're not like they're half naked or anything like that, you know. I mean, but you still do see the you know the tight clothes. But see, that's what Jake do. You know, especially the Jake woman. Jake woman wear provocative clothing to show off her body because that's how they get attention from men. You know? But brought the point of this out is you know, this is this is the mindset of our people. Our mindset of the people be on complete folly. Here we are in a in a uh, the worst economy that you can ever think of. You know, um, <clears throat> things ain't looking great for <laughs> the daughter of Babylon. But see, you this this is the mindset Jake got. You know, doing challenges. You know, doing a mukbang where you see people eating food on the internet and all all types of bullshit. You know, Jake don't take nothing serious, but let's continue. As the scriptures say, like mother, like daughter. And a lot of these women, man. Oh, goodness gracious. But there's more. Just wait, Israel. There's more to see. There's more folly. There's more degenerate, you know, uh, uh, madness to see out here. Check this out. Right, this is supposed to be funny. This is cute, right? This is cute. Then you literally got people on the internet defending this madness. See, we see why the world was flooded. We now see why we was put in chains. I get it now. You see the shit that Jake be doing? Imagine the things that we don't see, but this is the shit that Jake be doing. The shit that's being uplifted. But I, I see now. I see why Jake had to get effed up the way we did. Why? How is this beneficial? Hmm? How is this beneficial to showing your daughter this? But th this is what the Jake woman does. Jake, the Jake woman is all across the internet showing her body. This is what she get into. The Jake woman is literally a SEX symbol of the world right now. Fucking bullshit. There's more. Wait, there's more. There's more. How could it be more? This Jake don't fucking stop. Can't the kids just have a simple birthday party? Hmm? 
Sarah, Woody, you know, doing the cowboy dance, you know, doing a karaoke. But, but look, this is what you have going on. The Jake woman twerking on Woody. Sarah twerking. Kids around. Look, look at this. This is normal behavior with Jake within starting off with the so-called black community. Right? You so-called Negroes. Would you the tribe of Judah? You the head tribe. But you other tribes, y'all follow suit in a lot of wicked areas like this too. You know, Latino, the Latinos, y'all be going to hell off too. You know, but, but who's on the forefront? Judah. Judah. Complete madness. Let's, let's get off of this madness. I told you. I told you I'm a sh I'm, what I was going to show in this clip was the, the degenerate mindset of the people of this world. Let's, 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 I let's understand the definition of decision is like actually mm -hmm. having sex. If Come a woman here. will show up at your house and you off for money, yeah, that's she's a not a to do. Okay, no, that is a Why? What made? I thought it was just... Okay, okay. You know, let's assume, we you know what the term S.A. It's short for tool oh. If a man reached over and grabbed a woman's ass, would that be S.A.? Yeah, without consent. Yeah. Right. 100% uh -huh. it would be. Uh -huh. Where's the penetration? <laughs> I don't know. But <laughs> You said stripping's not. And I don't even watch these podcasts no more. You know, I used to be into it, you know, watch it. <laughs> but it shows you, 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 you people are a bunch of idiots, man. Right? You, the bimbos that all be at those tables, you'll find one out of the bunch that has some type of sense to her but the rest of you you're a, you're a bunch of freaking y'all y'all out of there <laughs> y'all out of there um what else Let's see not that because this one is just uh strictly to sean yeah uh, i mean there's a bunch of it everywhere but just the, the degenerate behavior of the people, man. Make more than you know, a doctor, a bunch of clips, and I, I capitalize off are. of men. You guys are my biggest fans, even if you're haters. Oh, yes. I made one. Getting up a master plan. Oh yeah, because you, know, you meant you, you SIMPs out there. You a bunch of freaking idiots. Height matter. It definitely it, does. It does. You said height matters. It does. All right, and weight matters. So step on the scale. Weight matters, but if you're not strong enough to carry me, then bye bye. All right, then let's see. No, I don't want to do that. You're That's so scary as fuck. Why? You're judging guys based on height, so I'm judging you based on weight. Not only do you have the MGTOW movement going on, which is men going their own way, um, <clears throat> you know, now you see a lot of videos and clips going viral of now, you know, a lot of men are using the same tactic and mindset that women use up against them. So, you know how, you know how women have preferences, you know, and uh, they always say, Height matters. You got to be this certain. You got to be this certain uh, height. You know, you got to be this certain weight limit, or you got to have this uh, type of body shape, or things like that. Well, men are starting to play this game with women too. And I find it funny. I think it's. I think it's great. Okay. To use height the same matter. type it of that woman. Does. It does. Them. That's why I pulled you said that height scale. matters. All right, and weight matters. So step on the scale. Weight matters, but if you're not strong enough to carry me, then bye bye. All right, then let's see. No, I don't want to do that. That's scary as fuck. Why? You're judging guys based on height, so I'm judging you based on weight. Height matter. It definitely does. It does. As they say, you play stupid game, you win stupid prizes. Last but not least, I thought this clip was a, a good clip to play with uh, 
Believe this is us. This is Sean Strickland. Stupid shit like that. Go UFC fuck fighter. Check let this me out. ask you something. Are you are you are you gay? No. Are you? Are you? Let me know. Are you gay? Can I hear? Can I get an answer? Well, not asking. I'm, this is part of. Are you? Are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid. No problem with it. Oh man, well, you, dude, you're a weak fucking man, dude. You're like, you're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau, like, with you fucking when he sees the bank accounts, like, you're just fucking pathetic. And and the fact that the fact that you have no fucking backbone, and and has he shut down your fucking country and seized bank accounts? You ask me some stupid shit like that. Go fuck yourself. Move the fuck on, man. Really, that doesn't really coward. answer the question, but I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community. You said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that. You'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me when uh, when they know what and they'll we'll know what they stand for. Are you this guy's like that? Nah, this Canadian is not that Canadian. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Here's the thing about Bud Light. Here's the thing about Bud Light. Ten years ago, to be trans was a what a mental fucking illness, and now all of a sudden, people like you have fucking weaselled your way in the world. You are you are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of fucking you. So there you have it. I wanted to play that. You know, but I'm surprised. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure Sean Strickland got fat for saying what he said. And uh, made, made himself an enemy to the common wicked perverse spirit that's pushed out there that left hand energy that left hand vibration because see when you departed from evil you make it yourself a prey you know and if you speak down on that whole spirit like when I, the first clip I played you know of the people with that type of mindset you know you will be attacked you know and when you're in or on the level that he's at like a he would be considered like a celebrity, you know. Um, he, yeah, he would be considered like a celebrity. Oh, they'll, they'll start to strip things from you. They'll find you. You know, they'll uh, try to find a way to strip you from your title, which will be his belt. You know, they, man, we didn't, we, I didn't see, you know, in that field, people get a lot of things taken from them in, the, in, the, in those times. Okay, for just speaking out against the madness that's going out in the midst of, you see? So if you agree with perverseness, you know, the world deems you as okay and that, you know, you're, you're, that your brain is wired right. But if you don't, you know, they consider you to be the, uh, to not, the not common one, the one whose mind is not right, but... I'm not gonna hold you too long. I just wanted to do a, really a quick, simple video. I'm just showing you the degenerate spirit and the degenerate mindset that is out here in Babylon the Great. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll leave you with this. Leave you with this right here. The book of Revelation. Chapter 11, verse eight, it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And this place that is speaking of, that is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, is America, no other than America, Babylon the Great. And I just showed you the examples why this place will be called that, spiritually Sodom in Egypt. Okay, you just seen all the things that represent Sodom. Okay, and more. And Egypt represents our bondage, our oppression. Just like what went, just like um, which uh, took place back then. You see? And as we was delivered out of e ancient Egypt, you know, well, the elect is going to be deliver delivered out of modern day Egypt upon those chariots. The chariots 